possibilities are very big because of every knob uh, has a lot of influence and if, if you have a lot of 24 knobs with a lot of influence, it multiplies the possibilities hugely. There, it's a lot of possibilities. After a while you know which knob will do which kind of effect. And so you can assemble your sound and make the... Yeah, at the beginning people, they turn everything and then they say like, yeah, I, I hear nothing. Like, it's easy to make a setting that makes nothing, makes no sense. You, everything is open and I still hear nothing. Yeah, but now you need, you need at least some, some rehearsal and to read the manual, of course. That's very important. But there are, the most musicians are the RTMF people, you know. Read the fucking manual. <laughs> Many people think it's musical uh, but here because they hear it. It's, you hear the ratios are all make sense in music. There is no, nothing going on that would be uh, not, not in relation to the dynamics, to the sound, to the rhythm. circuit is working on the gates, the gate for the envelope uh, and the gate for the VCA. The envelope is uh, mostly used to control the filter and the amplitude, uh, the, the, tr the trigger of the VCA is controlling the attack release for the two VCAs, the VCA which go to the output. Um, so you have to make sure your input level is high enough to make the gates working. But this is also the point that the machine starts a little bit distortion. And the more you go up, the more distortion. So in fact you are forced to work on the edge of distortion and not distortion. Which is for me the most good sounding range, the most beautiful harmonics coming out. Distortion is always creating extra harmonics. So now you have two filters, filter 1 and uh, filter 2. Yeah. Are, and these filters are identically built. Uh, so if I explain one filter, the other one is the same principle. And each filter has this output mixer between low pass high pass uh, bend pass or suppress totally or notch doing the high frequency only and this one is making making the bass drum and then you can put them serial or the parallel which gives a totally different sound for each filter you have also the resonance which goes to self-oscillation and uh, of course the cutoff. The range is quite big because you need that, especially you need it when you apply extra modulations on the frequency. 
Frage. Uh, and uh, if you apply a very deep uh, envelope modulations. This is the envelope generator. So you make sure the trigger goes uh, dynamically, then you can use it to move the envelope generator. As you can see, now it's uh, reacting after only a few steps, so you, you make easily a different rhythmic pattern. Then you have the LFO. This is the LFO. Uh, it can modulate both filters in in, in the phase, the same phase or in counter phase, like this. And the speed is also the range is quite extreme. modulation of the audio with audio. You use all the same signal to modulate the filters and to the, the, ampl the amplifier, so it gives very aggressive results. But now I use the internal signal to do the FM, but you can also use an external signal to do the FM. And it's very interesting if you have a bass line and it comes in and you have you make in your sequencer a second bass line and you use it as FM in or AM in, you can make very interesting sounds. And, and uh, even if your sound source is a digital uh, sound sequencer, be because it's all mixed together here in an analog way, it becomes an analog sound. And you can use your sequencer and make all the complex patterns you like to make. But this is the tool to make the sound powerful. I want to stay small. Uh, I, I don't believe in growing business. I don't believe that. Uh, but that's a personal thing also. You have. If you want a big company, you want, you must be prepared to cope with uh, employees, and you have to motivate the people all the time. And like, if you have like 20 people, it's really for me, it's not it's hell, you know, because there's always somebody complaining, there's always something going wrong. You're never tranquil. And no, uh, it's not. I, I hate that idea. I'm not the guy to have this big company, you know, and I'm an artist. I preferably would be a guitar player in a well-known band, uh, but that's not an option anymore. Maybe it is, but it's... I believe it can stay uh, small and have some good products. <laughs>